Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd of Vicious RV, and I gotta say, after like two years of really not seeing almost any new floor plans out there, the RV industry has absolutely exploded with originality for the 2024 camping season. It's almost like the RV designers, like uh, the, the creativity tap was like a, a king's garden hose and then they finally let go of it and all the campers went spewing out of the thing. I don't know. Either way, there's a lot of new exciting stuff. So I thought I would kick off this year's top five series that I like to put out there with my top five nerd preferred new floor plans that are out there. And specifically what I'm looking at, uh, I'm giving credit today to originality and innovation and just, just not the same old, same old, even if it is kind of the same floor plan, did a manufacturer just really take it over the top and do it new, exciting, and different. So we're gonna be taking a look at like about two minutes of footage on multiple models today, just doing some quick flyby previews. If you'd like to see and learn more about any of these, check the links in the video description where I have links to the full walkthrough video tours of all these. You can also check those links down there if you're uh, kind of curious about pricing and availability for any of these. So in the meantime, I've already talked enough, let's kind of kick things off here. So starting us off here, and these are generally in no particular order, but for years I've heard people asking me, why can't they put more windows on the camp side of the RV? Well, one manufacturer took a personal like Michael Jordan and they basically went out on this crusade to come up with a way to give you the most campsite viewing that has really ever been seen in the RV industry. And although it's not technically a series, it's almost kind of like a collection of somewhat related floor plans, Salem and Wildwood have come up with these view models that are truly one of the most original and unique things I think I've seen in a long, long time. And at this point, they have like eight or nine different models in this kind of family. So here's a quick look at one of them, the Salem and Wildwood view. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd with Bish's RV down here at the Salem and Wildwood facility getting my first look at their all new view series. This is a completely of like groundbreaking concept basically in RV design where this is gonna sound crazy they're doing all the things you ask them to do but then they cranked it up to 11 with stuff you've never even thought of probably before so first of all so many people will look at RVs and go why are all the windows facing at the neighbors that's stupid I want to look at my campsite well that was one of the whole basis here where they said how can we put more windows on the campsite of this and what came out of that equation once they put the spaghetti in the blender or something completely unique in the RV industry. This is the, uh, the the largest of the view series currently, although I think we're going to see it expand. And keep in mind, everything we're looking at today is a complete first run prototype. So it's kind of a rough proof of concept. And if this is where they're starting, I can't wait to see where they're ending. First of all, this has over a hundred square foot of window coverage on it, which is more than almost even a lot of fifth wheels tend to have, even very large luxury fifth wheels. They just plaster the campsite of this thing with all sorts of glass. Now in the Platinum Series, you're seeing you get the nice tinted glass, but these by default would typically be uh, a more uh, like stick and tin kind of camper, but you can dress them up a little bit as we're seeing here today. What is crazy about this one is not just all the counter space and all the windows, it literally has a hidden room built into the slide. When you walk through it, you almost don't even register. This has a big full super slide because you can literally walk behind the entertainment center where there's a hidden multi-function bunk room, craft room, office, dog kennel, a little bit of anything you want. And I was like, okay, so what, we're gonna sit in there hot boxing ourselves all day? No, they thought of that. They have dedicated air conditioning somehow running into the slide box, which is, like I said, they're doing stuff here I've never seen before. And you got the VersaTilt bed. You've got a bed that can slide up out of the way to give you a better nighttime viewing. You have room to get dressed, washer and dryer prep. A laundry list of cool, cool things on this. I need to get started. Let's get inside as we go. I want to hear what you think about this. Where did they nail it? Where did they fail it? This is a fledgling concept. How can they improve it further? And if you like how we're getting you the very first look at a lot of this new cool stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like our videos. Now in previous years, I've kind of come up under fire for like not including Grand Design RVs in my list. Well, for several years, I didn't have access to record Grand Design RVs, so it was very difficult to include them on my list. Secondly, Sometimes, some other things just kind of jumped up to the forefront for me, but that's not the case this year. This year, the Grand Design Imagine Division has come up with, I think, like eight or nine new floor plans. 
They have come up with more floor plans than some entire RV divisions make, period. And that is all in addition to their existing lineup, which is really crazy. And what's really awesome too, is they found new creative ways, almost incorporating motorhome concepts into a towable travel trailer application to bring bedroom slides to shorter RVs than we've really seen in the past. So a quick sample of that, Grand Design Imagine 24 BSE. Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd of Vicious RV with yet another crazy new imagined floor plan here. Less than 29 feet, less than 6,000 pounds, with a private rear bed slide and front living room it's pretty safe to say there's not a whole lot else like this out there. This is the new Imagine, what is it, 25 BSE or something like that. BS, I think, means bed slide, and they always throw E for entertainment or something in there. Um, we've got a great extended season weather package, Goodyear tires, massive power awning that clears both entry doors, and that's one of the things I like. This has a very irregular, exceptionally long bathroom. It's like a hot dog style bathroom instead of a ham hamburger style bathroom, if that makes sense, if you remember back when you'd fold paper and call it that. Um, it is very long, gives you plenty of room to get dressed and everything, but it has a direct entry door to the bathroom, so it's good for travel function. It's also really good for just keeping dirt from getting tracked through your RV, which, uh, speaking of which, you know, we're carpetless, we're ventless, like Imagine has been for well, a while. Well, they're recently carpetless, actually, which is kind of nice. Uh, up top, you still have a 165-watt solar package, which is smaller than some brands, bigger than some others. It's a solid battery tender. It is something you can kind of use as a basis to work off of. Or if you're a park camper like me, it's actually just really nice to make sure the battery's topped off so your power tongue jack and all that stuff can be ready and operational for you. It has, they've become excellent about these extra long, huge prep space kitchen countertops. And overall, I feel like Imagine is finding ways to maximize storage in, in, in fashions and ways that like nobody else has done. I kind of like this model. Uh, it's got some janky things though. Like the travel function's a little bit tricky. Kind of like a motorhome when you have a bathroom directly across from a bedroom like this. When you close the slide, it's a folding mattress. It has to so that the slide can close. And that right there might be an instant deal breaker for some people because that does complicate things like traveling. It also complicates things like replacement upgrades uh, for mattresses. But giving you good information, real information. That's what I want to do with this. Before you spend all your money, help you determine uh, if this is your second camper the first time around. But another group that was using their dipstick, Jimmy, uh, was the Forest River Vibe Division. They've had some neat ideas here and there, but it's like all of a sudden this year, they had this little explosion of interesting creativity where they're doing things like reimagining RV dining uh, and, and just tweaking floor plans in a way that I've never quite seen before. And I think the one that best exemplifies all this is actually their newest, smallest, and lightest member of their RV family. Hello everybody, welcome to Bish's RV. My name is Josh the RV Nerd and behind us is an RV that literally tricked me. And I mean that in the best way possible. At the time this video rolls out, I've got about 15 years of experience looking at campers. I'm basically a professional looker at her and talker about her of campers. Those are technical terms, that's my actual job description. And when I went through this one, uh, you know, it's like farmers, I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two, just off pure experience. And I went through, I said, okay, it's a Murphy bed, all right, small camper, okay, nice bathroom, okay, nice pantry. And then I went, ooh, you've got this nice little breakfast bar, dining bar, right off the campsite of the RV with a Euro window to get sweet airflow, but at the same time, it actually has a pull-down bug screen, which a lot of the Euro-style windows do not. So I'm like, okay, this is a really good camper. I looked through it a little further, like I said, really nice pantry space, kind of caught me off guard in a pleasant way. Um, also, it's a little bit taller inside, so I can stand in the shower. I like how the Murphy uh, sofa has those kick-out recliners. When the bed's down, you have headboard power pockets. You've got wide stance stability axles for easy towing on an RV that's not, I don't even know if it's 24 feet long. It's right on that cusp. It's lightweight, uh, but it has a really good cargo capacity, so you can actually tow small and camp large in this little thing. And that's the thing that threw me off. I walked out of the camper and it had such a big spacious feel, it tricked me. The rep was standing right there and he looked at me and said, not too bad for a no slide camper, huh? And I stopped dead in my tracks with one foot in the air getting ready to walk out of the camper. I turned around and I took a second look at this thing and I went, oh my gosh, this is a no slide camper. It felt so big inside, 
that even with my experience, it made me think it had a slide out. It has slide out comfort and space in a no slide, lighter weight, easier to maintain kind of model. There's no road mode. It's just good to go all the time. There's a lot of really, really good things going on with this one. They've uh, standardized a little bit better solar package than they had, heated belly, tank heaters, bigger air conditioner, and a lot of other things. Vibe is a brand that has kind of come out of nowhere that I think might be worth putting on your radar. But if we're gonna give points to originality since day one, Ember has just oozed originality and creativity, especially once they started coming up with their kind of multifunctional uh, bunk arrangement system. But then they took this entire concept up to another level where not only can you rearrange the bunks, you could have a patio, it could be a toy hauler, it could be a couples model, it could be a party barge, it could be an office, it could be almost anything you can imagine other than a fifth wheel because it's not <laughs> and they have come out with a easily hands down the the greatest swiss army super camper i think the world has seen to date check this thing out ladies and gentlemen family members of the rv nerd herd i gotta say hats off to you and hairline off to you this might be the ultimate franken camper and it was all put together based on your feedback wait till you see this sucker Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd with Vicious RV down here with the newest, latest, and I might say greatest from Ember. This new 240 Overland tandem axle toy hauler bunkhouse, not a bunkhouse, freaking camper that they put together here. It is just, it is wild guys. Wait till you go through this thing. They put this together based on like, they took all the comments, all the feedback that you've been leaving on their videos for a couple years now since Ember video number one that we put out here. And they slapped this together. Since day one, people have said, why don't they make a toy hauler? They need to make a toy hauler. Well, they did, and they didn't. They, well, first of all, let's just look at this. It's a like one of the best rear patio functions I think I've ever seen on any RV, not just travel trailer, but fifth wheel, anything, with this cool little like, you know, pop-up tent screen wall. So you actually have some really good kind of, you know, shaded patio coverage right there. They even slapped on that side cargo door on this like it was a conventional bunkhouse, which obviously it's not. They didn't have to do stuff like that, but they figured, hey, why not? Anything that we can possibly do on this thing, we're going to. The, uh, the bunks are completely removable, and we're actually looking at a prototype -y prototype version of this. That's the technical term for it if you're keeping track of the nerdisms. But this thing will have the potential of having four individual single bunks, or a desk, or a combination of bunks and desk, or a campsite dining bar, or none of that. And you can just straight load cargo up into this thing, and up in the front of it, all the people have said, why don't they make uh, a, a twin bed? Why don't they make a king bed? They decided to make a twin to king vertible bed system with a sliding wardrobe tower So you actually have some kind of hanging storage, which I don't usually see done with twin beds This being in overland We still have that all composite and aluminum body structure the four-wheel independent Kurt trailing arm suspension system with the the really heavy-duty uh, Wrangler tires So if you want to get off the beaten path if uh, the sidewalls of the tires get grabbed by something You know going down you're not gonna have to worry about like tires blown out on you TPMS standard you have the Super solar package available on these, zero to 100 degree rated, tested, proven, and a partridge in a pear tree. It might be the single most flex function convertible camper that maybe has ever been conceived. And before we get to our final entry in the nerd preferred innovation awards, I don't know, I don't have an, an actual name for this. Um, I wanna give a couple honorable mentions here because you try to narrow all the things that came out this year into five and it's just not gonna happen. First of all, I wanna give a serious tip of the hat to the, uh, the Surveyor Group. They have um, made some really smart moves this past year and in a market where a lot of things are bigger and heavier and more expensive than anybody d d generally wants to handle, they've come out with ways of offering high value features in a smartly sized, uh, smartly priced product. So tip of the hat there. Also, serious tip of the hat to the Wildwood Heritage Glen slash Salem Hemisphere group. They are two names for the same thing. Um, the only reason that they don't have a direct entry on this list is just because they don't have a lot of specifically new floor plans that we haven't really seen before. But what they've done is they've taken everything that they've ever done and they flat cranked it up to 11. 
like doing things like putting a, uh, a fiberglass roof cap on a towable RV and a bunch of other features, finally adopting true queen beds basically across the board. So many seriously good smart features where it's not new floor plans, but it feels like a whole new brand. This is a group that is massively punching above their weight class right now. If you've walked past them before, stop, collaborate, listen, take a look at one of these for the 2024 model year. You may just like what you see. But moving on to our final pick for the day, it was uh, no small task kind of narrowing everything down. But when it came to, um, I would say, making the biggest splash, biggest impression on the market and, and coming in with just uh, one of the most different outlooks on RV design I've seen in a long time. I don't think we can have that conversation and not discuss Brinkley RV. And uh, when every single thing they've made is brand new this year, I didn't really know where to begin. So I kind of just picked out one of their models here that I think can give you a really good feel at everything overall. And that's going to be their 3610. But I mean, you could have I, I, you could have just flipped a coin or rolled some dice or whatever and come up with any one of these individually. And they are all pretty fantastic because even when it's not exactly an original floor plan, they're doing it in a way that's just never been done to that degree before, never by a mainstream RV manufacturer. And they have got this industry's head turned and they've got some people scared and running. Sometimes doing everything they can to look just like them. I guess imitation, you know, is the sincerest form of flattery. But enough talking. Take a look here at the Brinkley Model Z 3610. Hello and welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen. Josh the RV Nerd here with Bish's RV down at Brinkley. I was invited down to get the very first look at this new 3610 Model Z and they are continuing this relentless pursuit of advancement. I gotta apologize in advance if the glare off the awesome lighting in here is blinding you off the reflection off my forehead. Never mind that, let's take a look at this RV with our floor plan in a flash. This thing is a beast. So it does everything you already know and love about the Big B brand, but they are kicking it up a notch in several different ways. What we're finding here is that they're basically kind of custom tailoring each floor plan they make, sometimes with slightly different equipment and hardware to really dial it in to be maximally effective. So for instance, normally these by default Model Zs have two air conditioners and you can delete one if you want to. This big one is so much larger, they are forcing a 45,000 BTU air system on it and they are doing a six point hydraulic leveling system on this one but those features are not available nor will they be available on the other model z's they are giving each floor plan the equipment it needs again to be maximally uh functional and you we are not able to custom order something with piece a b or c kind of intermixed but a 45,000 btu standard air system uh you can run all three airs including compressor on 50 amp service uh you can also run two of the air conditioners uh for sure off 30 amp service allegedly they may or may not have uh accidentally turned on all three air conditioners on 20 amp service but we really don't recommend you trying that these are hot cold camp rated uh you know they're carpetless ventless easy cleaning super fido friendly if you got a four-legged furry friend among the family this thing here they've they've cleaned up and even still improved further the way that their front pass through is executed and this one includes a little mini camp kitchenette that is very cool but the the real focal point of this one of course is that middle bonus room and i think that's the best way to describe it because you've seen the living with all the cool campsite windows the awesome window shades you've seen the big king bedroom the extra tall bathroom which is fantastic but the middle room in this it could work as a bunkhouse a lot of people will refer to this as a mid bunk but i do think it's best described as a bonus room due to the fact that it has uh you, you've got the move bunk get out the way you've got a dedicated sofa in the slide a hidden trundle bed for maximum sleeping capacity and it really has the ability to be built out and uh, it includes the equipment to function truly like a desk like we're seeing here today. I've already talked way too long. Let's get in there and dive through all the nitty gritty details. I wanna hear what you like, dislike, what are your thoughts? And if you appreciate how we get down away from the office to get you the very first looks at these things, hit that subscribe button, like our video, and let's get rolling, baby. But once again, with so many new things this year, like normally I have like eight or nine picks to kind of narrow down from for a list like this, 
It was like 30. There was like 30 new models that I was kind of sifting through. And that's only just the stuff that I've had the opportunity to see. There are some entire RV companies I don't get a chance necessarily to touch. And like, I get it. It almost feels criminal to like not include one of Rockwood's new models on here because they've had some absolutely dynamite new stuff. But it's just been a crazy year with a lot of really interesting, exciting things. So I'm kind of curious about two things if you'd leave me a comment. Of the, the, the models that we kind of displayed today, which one would be your favorite and or is your favorite missing from this list entirely? Leave me a little link and maybe that's one that I need to try to zero in on and, uh, you know, put it on my hit list for the camera later this year. Let me know. And also remember, down in the video description, I've got you a whole mess of links. If you want to see more information, because we've only seen just quick snippets today. If you want to see the whole shebang on one of these uh, units that we looked at today, check the links in the video description. There's also links down there where you can check things like pricing and availability without needing to call. We have some very nice people, I feel, but I, I, I shop just like you. And there's times where like, dude, I'm not, I, I'm not ready to talk to you. I just want to get an idea of what one of these things is running. You can use those links in the video description. Uh, without ever needing to give us your social security number, grandmother's maiden name, or any of that stuff. What is your blood type, by the way? What are those last digits on the back of your credit card? You get the idea. And remember, this video is chapter marked. I should have mentioned that earlier. If you want to hop around and revisit something a little more easily, there's a, a quick way to do it. And until next time, take the... Well, this fell apart. Terrific! Thanks again for tuning in. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Thank you.